Hi, I'm Lori Lane Zucker, founder and CEO of Impact Entrepreneur, and we are here at the Asia Pacific Impact Investing Summit in Sydney, Australia. I'm sitting here with Neil Gregory of the IFC, which stands for? The International Finance Corporation. Thanks for sitting down with me, Neil. Uh, tell me what the IFC does. So IFC is uh, a large investor in uh, emerging markets in the low and middle income countries. We, uh, our original capital comes from the governments of the world, but we work as a commercial investor, but with an impact mandate to invest for social and environmental progress in low and middle income countries. Is IFC part of the World Bank? We are an affiliate of the World Bank. Uh, we don't have any support from the World Bank, but we work closely with them. Can you describe how you might work with the World Bank on a project? So our work with the World Bank is particularly in trying to open up new markets and create uh, the opportunities for investment. Uh, we then invest debt and equity ourselves and also bring in co-investors, private co-investors who invest alongside us. And you're based where? I'm based in Washington, D.C. Uh, and so what do you specifically do with IFC? So I lead IFC's uh, thought leadership work. And what that means is trying to take what we learn as an investor working in, in these markets uh, and share it with other investors, uh, share our perspective uh, with the big global dialogues around uh, development challenges at the UN, at the OECD, with the G20, and so on, really trying to help people think through the opportunities to uh, achieve development goals through private investment. I think you said on a, a panel that you were on earlier that the IFC has been doing impact investing well before impact investing emerged uh, uh, kind of under that name and rubric. That was about uh, 12 years ago. What is the, uh, how long has the IFC been uh, doing this kind of work? So we've been investing for, for over 60 years, yes, and we've always had this, this mandate to both invest for financial returns and for, for what we call development impact. So we were an impact investor long before the term was invented. Uh, since it's been invented, and as the impact investing space has matured and certainly grown by uh, leaps and bounds, has that helped your work? I mean, are you finding more uh, uh, collaborators on the projects that you do? Yes, I think the, the focus on impact amongst investors uh, is really bringing us new opportunities uh, to partner. We uh, have new opportunities uh, to co-invest. Uh, with impact investors, and also we, we have the opportunities uh, to learn from each other. There's a lot of sharing that goes on now in terms of uh, how to find investment opportunities, how to, to manage investments for impact, how to measure the impact. So uh, there's a great deal of collaboration. That's why you, you find me at a conference like this. How much bureaucracy, how much uh, is involved with going through the process to get funding from IFC? So uh, I think part of what IFC brings to, a, to any transaction is we do a very thorough financial due diligence, and that is uh, partly what attracts co-investors to, to invest alongside us. But also we, we're known for our, our thorough due diligence on environmental and social issues. We developed uh, the equator principles, which have become the market standard for doing environmental and social uh, governments. Uh, screening, um, and we also take very seriously the uh, the assessment of impact. So it's it's quite an intensive process going through the due diligence uh, to uh, have IFC invest in your company. But many companies find the effort worthwhile because then that seal of approval that IFC has decided to invest with you attracts other investors and especially attracts impact investors. Will you actually give your due diligence to an in impact investing fund uh, that in so would save them a lot of time and energy, or do they generally do their own due diligence, just kind of uh, acknowledging the fact that, they, that the project has already gone through yours? We, we work both ways, and part of what we do is we, we've developed investment platforms so that, that larger and investors who want to invest for impact in emerging markets can invest alongside us and basically rely on all of our due diligence. And particularly for the larger pension funds and insurance companies who are starting to want to invest for impact, they find this very attractive. We've raised about $18 billion in the last five years on these platforms, uh, which allows others to benefit from both our financial due diligence, but also our disciplined approach to, to investing for impact. 
Um, do you have what's the uh, domain name of your website for people who want to get more information? So you can go to uh, www.ifc.org, and then if you uh, type slash thought leadership, you will find uh, a whole range of materials that, that uh, we write about how to invest for impact, how to think about new technology, creating opportunities for investment in these markets, a whole uh, range of themes that we write about. Neil, thanks for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. Great. Thank you.